Hi team. Um, just a quick update after um, yesterday's run for Ruby Amani. Um, I thought it was a really positive run. Um, she got, um, just as she, as they came coming around the, the back straight there, she, one of the leaders actually just came back on her and so she got pushed out a little bit. So she got stuck out a little bit wider than what we would have liked and not in the perfect position. But um, it was a good fresh up run and um, I look forward to seeing her run in the, probably in a more suited distance wise race and um, obviously she'll strip fitter and uh, she looked a million dollars. Her coat was just beautiful. She, she just looked like she um, mentally needed that, that high. I'm back into racing again. Um, first run in, needed it, um, and she just looked like she just needed that one run to get her going again. But she certainly stretched out really well in the end. I thought she found the line really well. Um, so um, a lovely fifth. She beat home some amazing horses. Um, it was a very strong field. So, um, you know, she beat home Watch the Space. She beat home Deals and Heels. Uh, she just she 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 was in a really good race, and she beat some really good ones home. So I think you've got to be proud of that. So looking forward to um, either the Group Three, the Red Badge, um, on the last day of the carnival, or um, possibly um, over Hawera. Um, there's another Philemia's race for her over there. So all in all, I was really happy with the run, and she does look great, and um, she will strip fitter, and it will do her the world of good. Um, this last race so anyway um, that's my update for this past weekend um, we'll keep you updated for the weeks ahead and um, looking forward to a lovely sunny day today out here in New Zealand so um, for all my Aussie pals I hope you're having a similar one thanks that's Backs on Track